for coming to support Joanna Wright. That means that you have a lot of faith in her, and you see that the future for our children in regards to education lies with Joanna Wright. So when you write your checks, regard it as an investment, an investment in your children's future and the future of the school system here in Maplewood, South Orange area. I have yet to meet anyone, and I've met quite a few people in the course of my career that have had an impact on me, that has had quite the impact that Joanne has had on this entire community. If you walk down the street with Joanne Ray, and I've had occasion to have breakfast and lunch with uh, she and Jazz, her daughter, who again is evidence that the, the uh, tree does not fall, or rather the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Uh, I had the pleasure of going to school with the late Lonnie Ray. And if any of you knew Lonnie, you'd see how his genetic imprint on this entire family has carried through the generations. Lonnie was a superlative athlete, but when I point out his accomplishments to others, particularly like my uh, fellow alums at Colorado State University, where we both attended, I say it isn't his athletic accomplishments so much that make you, that give you pause. It's what he did after he graduated and as he went into his adult post-athletic career. There are 2,000, 2,000 medical practitioners around the world that are practicing medicine in some form or another as a direct result of Lonnie Wright's uh, nurturing, his recruitment of them into the uh, medical department at, at uh, Rutgers University. And that to me is his legacy. There may be others who may jump higher. There may be others who may score more points, but there's no one that I know of on the current or the future athletic scene that has had the impact that Lonnie Wright has had on our entire society. So when you point out his accomplishments to your children, don't just talk about the fact that he played pro football and pro basketball, but point out the accomplishments he made as an adult in the real world, the non-athletic world. 2,000 medical practitioners. In Lonnie's last hours, I was fortunate enough to share one of his last several days with he, Joanna, and Jazz, his daughter. And at the foot of his bed was a young doctor, a young man who I later found out had been practicing his medical career in Africa.